Welcome back, my friends, and thank you for tuning in to another exciting episode of Advice From Me. Thank you so much for the people that have showed their support by liking, leaving some comments, and even subscribing to this channel. We are continuously growing, so I am so grateful for everyone for showing your support. In that, for you people out there that are continuously watching my videos, you'll understand at this point we are very much closing in on close to 80 videos, I believe. With that being said, with all of these videos out there, including other channels, how do we take all this information and process it in order to use it in our daily lives? So what I wanna talk about today is how you can utilize the videos on my channel as well as the self-help videos that you come across in YouTube or on other platforms. So obviously a lot of people use these sorts of videos as motivational boosters so that they can say, okay, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna use it today, I'm gonna use it this week. But the reality is, is that over time, these habits, unless you have found a way to implement them into your daily routine, might be hard to kind of keep as time goes on. Life changes, work changes, Financially you change, mentally you change, and we may forget things or let things slip away that can give us a very big benefit in what we need today. So the first big thing you need to do is get some sort of handwritten notepad. And I say handwritten because when we process things that we wrote down as opposed to things that we type out, our brain processes them differently because we are going through a different motion to track down this information. So with this book that you are going to have for yourself, I want you to write down whenever you watch, whenever you listen to, whenever you see some sort of motivational self-help tip. It allows you to track down notes on certain topics so that you have tangible evidence that you watch this and you're writing down what you gained from it. Now, the reason why you have this is because you eventually accumulate all this knowledge over time, and then you wanna be able to look through this book. Usually what I do is I open up a random page and I say, oh, the importance of cold showers. Now, this is something that I actually strayed away from the last few months and only recently got back into before even looking at this book right now. All the benefits of intermittent fasting. Um, oh, there's a lot of personal stuff in here. I forgot about that. Biohacking. This is something that I still do to this day. The different types of plants that I can use for biohacking. And I have those plants. They're still alive in my room today. And then I also have different motivational sayings from different books like Way of the Superior Man, Unlimited Memory. So there's different things that you can go through to use this as your own motivational book that keeps track of everything that you've seen, read, heard, wherever you got this information from. And then following up with the tips that I gave obviously with getting this book together or at least starting a book of some sort is that each week, just once a week, whether it's on your Sunday when you're prepping for your week or in the middle of the week, whenever it is, you wanna take an aspect from this book and focus on it for that week. Focus on it as hard as you can and allow it to give itself the opportunity to say, do I really want to implement this into my life? Can I implement this into my life? And even keep track of the benefits that it's given you while you are focusing on this topic. If you watch my videos enough, you know that a lot of things on meditation and controlling emotions are a common theme. So if you were to write that down and all the benefits of meditation and you have it in front of you, that week that you open up to the meditation guide, you have everything you need to know, everything you need to do, you can also write down and keep track of how you feel while you're focusing on this during your week. I think it's great when people go on to different sites like my own to reach out and try to find ways that they can improve, but you want to be able to put these things in your toolbox and not let them be, oh, I don't have motivation, let me find a video. You should have a stockpile of motivation from all of the work time and effort that you put in to researching, listening, and reading up on these topics that you know and that you believe are going to help you become a better person. So hopefully you got some great advice from this video by starting your book, starting to write down every time you read a book and gain something from it. Watch a video, listen to a podcast. I actually put, I don't know if you, could, you saw it, but I actually put the word tools on here because I started this 
by reading a book called Tools of the Titans, which as Tim Ferriss mentioned in his first paragraph of the book, was to use this wealth of knowledge from all these different people as sort of a menu. Go in and pick things that resonate with you. And in this sense, I took that and said, you know what, I'm gonna make my own Tools of the Titans. I'm gonna take down all the information that resonates with me. I'm gonna keep it on my watch, so whenever I can go in here looking for motivation, looking for ways that I can better myself, I have this wealth of knowledge from these books, from everything that I have read, everything that I have learned, and I can remind myself why it was important and then reuse it today. So hopefully that motivates you enough to do exactly what I said. I'd like to leave a note to leave a like on this video if you found it useful. Leave a comment on what you've got out of this video. And if you can, leave a comment on stuff that you've gained from other resources that I can put into my own tools book. Maybe one day I will just kind of make a PDF for everyone to say, hey, here's some tools for me. I hope they help. I hope this helps. I hope everything that I've done has helped you. I'll see you on the next video.